sky watchers and welcome to the sky above us. This month we have two large planets with two of the largest moons in the solar system. We also have a close conjunction of our own moon with one of our favorite wandering stars. And we also have the return of a beloved summertime meteor shower. What am I talking about? Let me show you. Okay, we have our skies set up for 9.30 p.m. on August 4th facing southeast. The planets Jupiter and Saturn are both visible in the constellation of Sagittarius. Jupiter is the bright light on the right, and if you look at it through a telescope, you'll be able to spot four of its largest moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. At current count, Jupiter has 79 moons, but only four of them are comparable in size with our own moon. Ganymede is the largest moon in our solar system and boasts a diameter greater than that of the planet Mercury. Saturn is the bright object to the left of Jupiter. With 82 moons at current count, Saturn is finally leading the contest with Jupiter over which planet has the most moons. Through a small telescope, you'll be able to see Saturn's fantastic rings, and depending on when you look, you might also see its largest moon, Titan. Like Jupiter's Ganymede, Titan is also larger than Mercury, but it's also the only moon in our solar system that has its own dense atmosphere. Let's advance time to 12.30 a.m. on August 9th, and you'll notice a little red dot next to the waning gibbous moon. This red dot is the planet Mars. The moon will be in our line of sight with Mars on August 9th, and as the early morning hours progress, you'll see the moon slowly moving past Mars with respect to the background stars. The moon is approaching a good phase for our next celestial event, the Perseid meteor shower. Okay, we have our sky set to the morning of August 12th, 2020 at 12.30 a.m. facing northeast. The constellation of Perseus the Hero is near the horizon, and this is the focal point of the action that night. The Perseid meteor shower will be at its best this year during the morning hours of August 12th. The best time to observe is in the hours just before sunrise. The moon will be in the waning crescent phase and shouldn't interfere with this year's display. When you see a meteor shower, you're seeing small pieces of dust left behind by a comet as they burn up in our atmosphere. In the case of the Perseids, the comet is Swift-Tuttle. The comet Swift-Tuttle takes 155 years to orbit the Sun, but we travel through its orbit every year in August. The meteors appear to radiate from Perseus because that constellation is in the direction we're traveling in August. As we cross the comet's orbit, we plow through the dust the comet left behind. When the dust grains hit our atmosphere, they're traveling so quickly that they ionize the air around them, causing the air to glow. This is what we call a meteor. This connection between comets and meteor showers was first noticed by astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli in 1866. This year, we expect to be able to see almost 130 meteors per hour at the shower's peak, but this is only if you have a very dark sky away from city lights. Most meteor showers are meteor sprinkles, so if you have a lawn chair handy, lie back and just scan the sky back and forth. With the Perseids, you're likely to see at least one or two meteors every minute or so. On a side note, some Catholics refer to the Perseid meteor shower as the Tears of St. Lawrence that were suspended in the sky but returned to Earth once a year on August 10th, the date that St. Lawrence was martyred in 258 AD. So my friends, check out Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, our Moon, and the Perseid Meteor Shower this month. And if you'd like to support our program, click on the Patreon link in the description, and you could qualify for Autograph the Sky Above Us memorabilia, and you could see your name in the credits of our next episode. August is a great month for sky watching, especially when you keep looking up. <laughs>